Now, maybe you're in your medium years in life and you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to do next. And maybe you're a younger leader who says, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Or you're an older leader that says, I've got to find a way to leave a legacy for my years on earth. That's why you have to be on fire with this purpose because for a legacy to occur, for meaning to happen, and for something powerful to happen with your life, you have to be on fire. That's what's going to change everything about the way you lead. I don't like Lou Holtz, full disclosure, because as a Florida State football person, I can't like him because he coached at Notre Dame, all right? However, that being said, he's got one of the most amazing quotes I think I've ever encountered. Lou Holtz said, it's not my job to motivate players. Now think about that for a second, y'all. You think about an effective football coach and you imagine that the best part of their job is in the locker room when they're getting the team fired up before they go on the field. And it looks like the coach is getting them motivated, but the coach is not getting them motivated. The coach is just spreading fire. But when you've got that nasty, cancerous person in there, then they're going to block that wonderful opportunity for that new voice in your organization. Have you ever stopped to acknowledge the people around you as extraordinary? Your job is not to go in and teach somebody how to be motivated. Your job as a leader is to find their extraordinary talents and then not get in their way. But when I say energy in regard to people around you and who has energy, I guarantee every one of y'all just thought of a name. You know that person. They walk into the room and other people say, they're here. But if you are more nimble and you're smarter and you're willing to work as a team, there's nothing you can't take down.